What is going on people and welcome back to a brand new game find on my channel. As you can see I am currently browsing through the CD racking, the CD shelves in a charity shop where I managed to find a sealed Pokemon uh, Project Studios as it says on the case there. Uh, I had this as a kid. I also had this one as well, uh, which is the Pokemon Blue version, blue and red. Um, you could make calendars, you could make cards, you could make all sorts of cool things with a printer and with this uh, disc. Really, really cool. I also managed to pick up, as you can see, a Make Your Own Turtles um, fabric little set thing there. I'll get into that a little bit later in the video, but that's what I picked up. Um, from the charity shop, the Maker Turtle Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Complete Ninja Hero kit cost me a pound. Honestly, a pound. This looks like it hasn't been used, um, so I'm looking forward to possibly doing this myself. I know there's a certain person in Europe that uh, a YouTuber that may be watching this video right now. He'll know who I'm talking about. I'm not going to mention names, but I will put his link, his YouTube link, in the comment section below. If he wants it, um, I'm not sure how much it would cost to send out. Pokemon Blue, I've already kind of mentioned that earlier on, as well as Pokemon Red, uh, which is sealed. A pound for a sealed Pokemon item from the late 90s, early 2000s. That is absolutely amazing. I had both of these. I'm probably going to have to look for my copies of these. I might even try the blue one out as it's open. They're probably both going to go on eBay, although I might keep them really tempted with, with the uh, Pokemon Red. I went into um, CX, that was the next store that I went into and as you can see I've picked up a few uh, DVDs. Now a lot of these are bought for my other half um, but what I didn't realise was a lot of their DVDs are now about 50 pence. CX do not want DVDs and they are paying like a penny per DVD right now and they're selling them all for about 50 pence unless they're box sets like the Austin Powers one there. £3.50, Austin Powers is awesome, worth buying for £3.50, great box set. What I also gathered was they had a good range of PS2 and original Xbox games that were all 50 pence each. And I don't have some of these, so I've bought quite a few of these games to add to my collection. Um, I think I already have the Italian job, which is why I put it there to start with. Then I realised that if I put any more up on top, they'd probably fall down. I haven't stacked them properly that well. So yeah, all of these at 50 pence each. I just couldn't say no really. Um, Fantastic Four, I think I may already have, but I didn't know. And for 50 pence, I thought I might as well keep it. Uh, moving on to some other games like Dirt Track Devils. Just looks like an awesome game. So 50 pence, definitely worth picking that up. Terminator. Uh, I don't know. I, I really don't know. Terminator game. If it's anything like the Mega Drive version, then it's awesome. If it's not, then it's 50 pence. Who cares? Dirt Track definitely looks like I want to play that sooner rather than later. Chicken Little um, Ace to Action. No idea. Casper I bought for £1.50 purely on the fact that uh, we're currently playing the Casper one, which I bought for 50 pence on the PS1. Disney's Dinosaur. Inspector Gadget for 50 pence. Um, Pirates of the Caribbean, 50 pence. I uh, also picked up the other Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End for 50 pence. I'm not sure if there's any more Pirates games on the PS2. Moving on to the Xbox games, Brute Force, Gun for 75. Now, I think I picked up Gun for 50 pence on the PS2 a little while back. So now I've got it on the Xbox as well. I'm not sure if that's just XIII or 13, but for, 15, uh, for 50 pence even, I thought it was definitely worth it. Lord of the Rings. I don't know if I've got that anymore, but for 50 pence I thought I might as well pick it up for 50 pence, that is really good. I didn't realise CX was selling 50 pence DVDs and games. I may have to check them out again in different branches to find some other games. 50 pence is an absolute bargain. Um, I think I ended up spending about 19 quid in CX, mainly on PS2 games as you can see in front of you. Pokemon games at a pound each and the Turtle game for a pound. So, kind of spent just over £20, I'd say uh, 21 to £23. Highlight was definitely this Pokemon game. Uh, it's sealed for a pound. Of course I'm going to pick it up. Of course I should be keeping it. Of course it's worth keeping in my collection. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I really don't. This is 
my highlight of this episode Pokemon Red and Blue Project Studios and this is the one pound make a turtle kit that if a certain guitar playing turtle loving retro gamer that knows who I'm talking about um, send me a private message on Twitter mate and we'll sort it out